Uh, good afternoon. I'm glad to welcome everybody at the Gaidoa Forum. Uh, today, I believe uh, we, are we are going to discuss a very important uh, subject, important for the development of the country, issues of uh, education. Uh, we will have, uh, we'll have here Sergei Zygevich Karovtsov, Minister of Education of the Russian Federation, and, Max and Vadim Yonish Mashkovich, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Rusagro. So I uh, would like to start uh, our uh, talk um, uh, at, with the economy, because I personally believe uh, that uh, education is, in fact, the cornerstone of success, uh, the success of development of countries. Uh, if we look at the economy, we will see that uh, over, the over the latest several years, uh, the economy has been uh, gradually transformed very seriously. All the processes, all the industries, all the organization of urban life uh, is uh, uh, changing its principles. Uh, the industries uh, are no longer oriented on the product and are transformed into a system uh, structured around the customer. If uh, in the past, uh, uh, the, the most important thing for a bank was uh, giving out loans uh, and uh, the whole system of work was built around it. And now the financial sector, you know, our leading banks have shown it very well, uh, starting from the profile of the client and uh, understanding of his uh, problem, uh, his uh, needs. Uh, our, the whole system used to be structured around the product, and now it is structured around the human being. It is it is happening in all the uh, spheres of our life, uh, including so the social sphere. So I would like to ask Sergei Sergeyevich, uh, where is our secondary system of education? Uh, system of secondary education is moving. And how is it going to change uh, the, because of those global trends in economy? Thank you. You're absolutely right. Uh, the economy is closely connected uh, uh, with the system of education, and uh, the future of the country depends very much on its education. On uh, how much basic knowledge a person has, it is very important. On uh, 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 how uh, a person can use and uh, use uh, all these uh, knowledge and skills in his life. Uh, to what extent uh, the talents of every uh, school child is uh, uh, developed? Uh, our president uh, keeps uh, saying that uh, it is necessary to develop talents of all children, no matter what school they attend and where they live. And it is very important uh, for a school leaver to be uh, prepared to live in this uh, world, in the modern world. The world is constantly developing. It is not a, a simple world. Uh, and I believe that an, an important uh, an important thing to get one's bearings in this world are uh, moral values, uh, which will allow a uh, school leaver to remain a real p p person, a, human, a real human being. And here we must be oriented at uh, supporting the development of every school child's uh, talent. But here the balance is very important. If we look at the data of various countries in, at international experience, we will see that we will have such international uh, indicators of the international PISA study, uh, the ability of a school child uh, using you, of you, to use his uh, uh, to his uh, knowledge, uh, and also pearls and teams uh, 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 studies, and uh, our pre present. Uh, uh, Consider this as necessary uh, for us to to be one of the top ten countries on all these uh, in all these areas, and we know that there are some countries which have uh, been developing quite dynamically. Uh, we have analyzed uh, those different countries which uh, have taken part in uh, those studies, and we looked at the dynamics from 2016 to 2020. So, uh, Hong Kong 
sufficiently uh, a sufficiently developed uh, province of China, but uh, strangely as it might seem, the quality of education in Hong Kong has been deteriorating. In 2016, uh, Hong Kong was uh, on the fourth place. Uh, Finland, uh, we uh, all have always said that the fin Finland, uh, that Finland's uh, system of education is one of the best in the world. But now, uh, Finland, uh, uh, Finland is living an education tragedy. Uh, the, edu the quality of education has fallen from the. They are no longer the eighth and the half of the in the world, but are, are, are the tenth. Uh, and we used to, Russia used to be on the uh, the fourteenth uh, place, and then thirteen and thirteenth and a half. And uh, our Poland also uh, made progress from uh, the fourteenth to uh, the thirteenth place. Why? Uh, what are the factors? Uh, why has uh, the quality of education in Hong Kong deteriorated? Because a lot has been done to develop the teacher, the director of school. Uh, there is a very uh, well um, uh, known system of uh, career uh, development of teachers, but they no longer pay enough attention to the subject base, to the basic knowledge, and the quality has gone. In Finland, uh, there is a lot of control, focus on the control of quality and uh, personal development without subject and knowledge. So, it is uh, to to totally uh, practical oriented. And in Poland, uh, there is a constant uh, diagnostic of knowledge uh, and uh, the single educational space, which uh, improves the quality of education. It is very important to find uh, the balance. Uh, you have uh, touched upon very important issues. We'll come back to them. And now I would like to ask Vladimir Nikolaevich, uh, so there is uh, uh, that uh, uh, you have uh, invested uh, very much uh, of, mo of money and of yourself, uh, of your soul, into the uh, school, uh, let of school uh, project. Uh, you have good results. We see that on the one hand, uh, the school is young, but now it is, uh, uh, it is uh, at the top of international ratings. Uh, and as far as I know, a lot of attention in, in this school is uh, paid uh, to new methodologies which allow to achieve increasingly good results. Uh, and that's uh, uh, what uh, Sergei Sergeyevich has just managed, uh, mentioned, uh, development of uh, the talents of every uh, student uh, of this school. Could you share your know-how with us? What have you thought of uh, with your teachers. Thank you very much for this question. Well, I don't think that we have invented something. Uh, we have uh, just taken our Russian basic knowledge, which, uh, if we look at the results uh, shown by the school, uh, is brilliant. Uh, uh, we have brought together a team of teachers, and uh, what we have done, uh, we uh, we alienate, alienated knowledge from the teacher. It is the school which owns the knowledge. How do we achieve this? Thanks to our teamwork. I think this is the most important uh, uh, innovation in the let of school. We do not have a, a star team. We have a team of teachers who work together and who, uh, well, we, in our school, uh, not every, it is not that every teacher teaches his own subject. We have an, an, we have a, an interdisciplinary approach, and for every child uh, we have developed uh, an individual uh, plan, individual track. It is very important. Every child is at the center, and for every child, uh, the teaching staff uh, develop a teaching plan. They uh, measure the child's uh, uh, progress and happiness. Uh, we regularly measure uh, a child's happiness, and uh, we keep it at 90% uh, or more. Our children are happy in school, and a child's comfort uh, is uh, perhaps the key 
to his success. If uh, the child is comfortable, if he likes his uh, teachers, then he has good results. And then we have special track, uh, very uh, strict uh, control of uh, as, of a child's failure. Uh, what sort of we? Uh, uh, codify the reasons for uh, for a child's uh, failure, and as a team uh, is working on it uh, before the child uh, gets into the zone of discomfort, uh, and uh, we uh, quickly try to get the child out of this discomfort zone and put him on track. But what is doing this uh, in your school? In a standard uh, school, uh, we mostly have subject teachers, uh, mathematicians, ma maths teachers, geography teachers, uh, who want uh, to give uh, knowledge of the subject uh, to the children, uh, to the uh, to the pupils. Um, and to make them enthusiastic about the subject. And now uh, you say that you, uh, you uh, measure strong and weak points. So who does it over people? We have an academic team. We have an academic director, non-academic director, and we have also chairs. We have a, well, chairs of maths, of uh, Russian, of English, and we have a uh, in horizontal interchair work system, and uh, uh, teachers are on the horizontal level of cooperation. But uh, are there any specialists whose uh, job is uh, to uh, not to teach uh, a, su a subject but to teach a child. Well, our, our teachers uh, are not just uh, uh, subject teachers. They, in fact, uh, uh, are responsible for the whole development of the child. And they have uh, from 6 to 26 uh, children under their control, and here it is uh, the most important thing is to develop the horizontal cooperation uh, among teachers. And when we uh, want to develop uh, not just knowledge but also skills, it is important for us uh, uh, to teach uh, in such a way that having learned one skill within the subject uh, framework of one subject, uh, children would uh, be able to use uh, uh, the skill in other subjects. Well, Sergei Sergeyevich, I know that you have uh, a lot, uh, you have uh, studied a lot the letter of school uh, uh, school experience. Uh, there is always a space for certain ideas uh, in this uh, school, but how can uh, uh, this innovation be replicated across the education system? You are, uh, yes, you are right. Uh, we have very thoroughly studied uh, the letter of school experience. Uh, I would uh, Complement what uh, Vladimir Nikolaevich has said. Uh, the main idea of the school is uh, that every uh, pupil who comes uh, to this school uh, be to engage, uh, be engaged in the interesting life. You know, uh, motivated children come to the school. They have been chosen from uh, all this. Uh, from the whole country, and the uh, average motivated child uh, dreams of getting to the letter of school. Uh, and uh, we have uh, made a diagnostic of, uh, uh, of school children from the 7th to the 11th uh, form, and we have seen that there is a huge growth. Uh, you know, every school student lives according to his individual plan. Uh, uh, what he uh, and uh, he uh, achieves his uh, maximum in uh, his uh, favorite area uh, while he uh, still has uh, very good sound basic knowledge. Of course, uh, this is a school for those who love uh, uh, learning, but some elements could be used also in mass schools. Our job is uh, to provide basic education in every school, and the approaches in the letter of a school are interesting from the point of view of uh, uh, 
of our training teaches to work with motivated children who are, exist, uh, who can be found in every school. Uh, Mr. Mokrinsky was one of the best uh, directors and Mo school directors in Moscow, and our team has develop, is developing a technology which could be used in uh, uh, in improving the, the skills of the teachers uh, of mass schools so that they would be able to work with uh, highly motivated uh, pupils who, who, who can be found in every school. Very often what happens is that when uh, children with uh, the score uh, for 100 points or 200 points, I met them, would come to the university and would say that at school actually we would be acquainted with something, but in the university we are totally uncontrolled and monitored, and they're sliding down, but we have to maintain that tendency. Let of school, for instance, uses um, the approaches and technologies which can be rolled out and replicated for the mass school. I have another question to Mr. Moshkovich when we're speaking about individual paths. Many people associate that with individual education when actually there is one teacher per one student, but I understand that that lot of school is different to other schools, not in that format. How many students do we have in one class? From 70 to 150 children at school, well, that's quite enough. So when they're broken down by several classes, that's quite regular. So it means that uh, school can be called a typical one. Is it a problem or it uh, helps uh, to make an individual path for everyone when there are many students in, at school? Well, it only helps because we can understand, we can get a typology of problems, typology of mastering the material topology of working with every psychotype of a child. Uh, the more children we have, the more experience we have, and easier it is for us to applicate that, to standardize, to adapt it. At school, we have uh, a process of improving the methodology and guidelines. We start that in February, it lasts for three years. We analyze the outcome of the year, results achieved by every student, the reasons of a failure, the reasons of a success, and we revisit the education methodology, what we can do. Once we have uh, uh, 150 children, or even 300 children in um, similar grades, we we'll break them down into groups equal in number, and we provide them with tests, and we see, first of all, we give them knowledge and different options, and then we do testing, you understand, which way of conveying information is the best, and uh, we do that, uh, and uh, this goes in circles. We can go on improving the methodology of instruction. Well, you said that once a year or every six months you are summing up the results. What is the criteria of success for you? This is the success of a child. We have a child-centric approach. A child, his happiness, his track, and his success is in the very core of our model, and everything is around that. The only limitation that school has, this is the children's time. You cannot increase it, you cannot do anything without that. Other resources are unlimited but the time of a child is limited. We have to use the child's time with maximum utility. My question goes to Mr. Kravtsov. Do I think that such a child-centric approach is justified? And what can the system do? What first steps have to be done? That step by step we can move in that direction. Well, a lot has been done already. In Russia, unlike many other countries, we have a very well-developed extracurriculum education, which in essence helps to develop certain skills and certain inclinations of children. This is our big achievement, which naturally 
has to be strengthened, has to be developed. This is what we are doing. But in that sense, it's very important to, to take care not only of the students who want to study, revealing some uh, experience or skills and talents, but they actually can be successful in their life and they can um, even become top managers of the company and to develop the economy. It's very important that in a certain grade, a child doesn't give up everything. When we're speaking about uh, diagnosis, when we define certain problems, gaps in knowledge, certain emotional questions, well, that's about helping people. Uh, family matters. It's very important that uh, children talk and communicate to children at any age, asking them how they feel, what they feel, and uh, aim, help him aim at development, at training. Father and mother are very important for a child. And today, the very objective of the Ministry of School Education is about providing necessary methodological support to every child. And uh, obviously, that's a very serious task. We have 39,000 schools, zero million school children, but step by step, we are making steps in that direction. And the system of supporting talented children is well developed. A serious a serious quantoriums are on the rise and growth points are on the rise. Remember, we discussed that, that growth points have to be developed in rural areas as well. And today in the national project, we took a decision that all the 27,000 rural schools have to be uh, provided with necessary equipped equipment and therefore we are supporting children regardless of where they are studying. The Ministry of uh, School Education certainly knows very well what is going on in all the schools and I understand it that you are checking letter of school, uh, monitoring the statistics and uh, the achievements, is a lot of school faring well? Uh, well, in terms of the common requirements which meet the standards, we see that the students are motivated and they are developing very well. And as uh, Mr. Moshkovich said, each of the school students would get support to, to get on their individual track or path they would enter the leading universities where we may get an impression that the best students were selected and they were trained in nothing but still they got into the best universities. We have lots of private schools and they are on the rise. And when the founders turned to me, they kept telling me that we have such and such private school and we're the best. Well, that's obvious. Uh, pride is very good. And it's the very good that we have such, uh, actually, uh, schools. And working in the Rosobornadzor or the uh, school education watchdog, I remember that we agreed that within two weeks we would uh, check all the school children from grade 7 through grade 11 in lead of school and we saw that these are very strong students that they would be very good in uh, the unified state exam, gaining more than 90 points of and above and uh, they are good at uh, solving conventional and um, unconventional mathematic problems, so we keep up that balance. That's an ideal 
option. Well, speaking about individual path and track, but uh, keeping on the mass education, in terms of the progress, what does it give us? Individual approach, including working with uh, the flunking students, the ones who find it difficult to study, individual approach is needed, but uh, team spirit is uh, important to uh, the class in general. Maybe support because uh, school, this is about upbringing, communication, ability to interact with the people who think alike. The skills of the 21st century, something that we are speaking about now, something which is needed to the Something that is needed by the modern economy, but uh, such uh, skills can be trained uh, during the extracurriculum activity after classes or within a class, depending on the achievement level of the school students. Let of school may offer very interesting methodologies which can be used in the mass schools. Let me focus on one thing which was mentioned by Mr. Kravtsov. That's a very important story that certainly school has to be judged not only by the most successful students, it is equally important to see how the weakest students look, whether the school is ready to support them. I'm deeply convinced that every child has a certain potential. And uh, you may use a conventional approach to some of them, but you have to be flexible, making sure that uh, children are progressing and developing. That's very important for the education of future. Mr. Arishkin, we discussed that with you. The schools which are being built Following the instruction of Mr. Putin, 1,300 schools are to be built until 2024. When training teachers were using the approaches uh, we are speaking about, including the experience of let of school, we have a large-scale problem of the repair and maintenance of the school buildings. We have uh, to repair at least 3,000 schools uh, within that year and 27,000 schools have to be repaired until 2024. But we're dealing not only with infrastructure, but also we're training necessary stuff. We're working with the s teachers. We help them providing methodological guides. And you, you said that absolutely right, that it's very important to narrow that gap. And probably, yes, it's very important to work with the talented students to give them more opportunities. And we used to have uh, physics and mathematics schools, linguistic schools, and uh, such a decision was taken before at the time. But it's very important to work with the students, uh, to work with the flunking students, and they find it difficult because uh, actually the uh, teachers were forgetful or didn't notice that uh, he couldn't master the material or certain skills, and therefore next class would be totally disinteresting for him. We have certain technologies to monitor the progress of the students, and we're going to train teachers in that. Especially this would be typical of the schools which fall into the list of the ones which will do the um, capital uh, all whole. If the society offers the right motivation system, such a system may help everyone to achieve great results. Well, what we started with is that the foundation is laid in the family until seven years. Main psychological functions are shaped, but uh, the point of view, the mind of a person actually has been developed at school. One more topic, which I think is very important for today, that's 
the one of uh, digital technologies in modern education, I think, there is a prejudice, a stereotype when we're speaking about individual education, just uh, we have an image that this is a child sitting at a computer screen studying something at home alone, let of school. Does the life instruction play any role in your model? Well, life education, life instruction is um, not phased out. The, the direct communication to a teacher and uh, the drivers of uh, working in teams, especially when you are developing the critical thinking, when you are developing collaboration, cooperation in that part. The children and teachers have to stay together at the same time, there are lots of opportunities for an individual and independent or remote work. Hmm. So, a balance must be found between uh, modern technology and the results that you want to achieve. Uh, they complement each other, they do not exclude each other, they complement each other. Sergei Sergeyevich, it is widely known that uh, the Ministry of Education under your guidance has a very, uh, a very definite position on the uh, necessity of live teaching. Pres the President has mentioned it repeatedly and of course uh, never remote technologies, information technologies uh, will not replace live communication between uh, teachers and uh, pupils between pu pupils uh, and pupils among themselves so all those new technologies are only uh, an aid uh, to the traditional system of education so information technologies must uh, be adapted to the existing system of education what are we doing now uh, the so-called white internet is being created it means that uh, uh, pupils are in school, they are in class, they are working with teacher, but uh, the teacher, if it's necessary to illustrate something uh, using uh, information technologies, so you uses it, and all the content, all uh, of the of it is checked, uh, it, it uh, meets the standards and it is verified. And so a state uh, verification system is used so as to avoid uh, any destructive content uh, which often destroys uh, and harms uh, uh, school children. If uh, a pupil is uh, unwell, Speaking of motivation, he can remotely connect uh, to the lesson and follow the lesson and not to miss it if his uh, state of health allows him. So there will be no gaps of knowledge. If teachers communicate with other, with, uh, other teachers from other towns or pupils uh, are, uh, communicate with other pupils in other towns, so a system of remote system of communication may be used and so in 15 regions um, this forum pro program is used which uh, allows to solve these uh, issues as I have uh, uh, as I have mentioned is co complementing uh, the traditional system of education uh, this uh, system is uh, as 100% reliable, it, uh, all the content is checked, so there are no destructive elements. And it is very important also to mention uh, the use of new technologies to reduce inequality among schools. For example, countryside schools uh, uh, were, uh, were very much uh, in uh, wanting uh, equipment, books, etc. Now, uh, using the internet, uh, can uh, exceed, uh, can get access to the whole world, and uh, not just materials, also communication. Uh, recently, uh, to be precise, on the 6th of January, I visited a village school in Karelia, in uh, Shuiska village. It is, uh, this uh, school is part of the program of capital refurbishment, and uh, 
uh, we were launching it, and I entered the school, and they had electronic uh, class uh, tables, uh, or class boards, uh, allow to get if uh, the teacher is absent, uh, the, uh, pupils can uh, get uh, this or that uh, material. We are analyzing the shortage of teaching staff, and uh, for as for. Uh, the school uh, uh, for the uh, schools of the countryside. Uh, we have the uh, countryside teacher program, and we uh, allocate uh, one million rubles uh, for the teacher because uh, to to go to the school uh, and to teach. So it is of course good to have a real teacher, live teacher. But uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, when you need some literature materials, you can use information technologies. Uh, we have heard about uh, um, teachers being responsible not just for knowledge of uh, pupils, but also for their whole uh, development, including moral development, etc. But will this be an important part in our school? Well, for a, for a pupil in school, in school, it is necessary to have a, a a person uh, who would act as his uh, mentor, and uh, it is mostly a, a teacher, and in accordance uh, with, the t with the president's instruction, all uh, uh, the uh, class leader teachers uh, get, uh, uh, get uh, higher wages. Uh, and uh, therefore, in uh, teachers' training universities, uh, we are, we have introduced a new uh, a new program uh, to prepare uh, the classroom, uh, the class uh, leader teachers uh, to the changes that have taken place in our schools. Uh, as regards mentors, as such. Uh, well, this is an issue to be looked into in 10 regions. Uh, we have already a project uh, of uh, introduction of a position of a person who would um, act as assistant uh, for uh, for extracurricular activities so that he would organize excursions, uh, theater going, and things like that, so that they would live in the real world and not uh, in the virtual reality. In uh, the Pioneer, Young Pioneer Camp, I uh, attack in uh, uh, the Crimea, I saw that uh, uh, that uh, uh, school children arrive and they all are looking, uh, they all spend all their time with their <coughs> smartphones, but uh, then they disappear from the internet because they go to excursions, go swimming, go hiking. Uh, they communicate with each other. It is very important for developing uh, a child. So by 2029, we'll have a, uh, an acting uh, acting uh, studio for for every in every school. So our conversation is near its end, uh, and I would like to ask uh, one final question, sometimes somewhat unusual. Uh, you both uh, have are paying a lot of time. Uh, to uh, uh, spending a lot of your time uh, uh, working for education. This is something very important for you. So what is your dream as regards, uh, as regards uh, the system of education? What should change? Of what changes do you dream? I would, uh, I'm not, uh, uh, formul I would not formulate uh, this question in this way. I would uh, see more what should be done for for the child uh, in the education process and how it should be replicated all over the country. For me, Letova is just uh, an experiment site uh, where we take the best Russian and international practices and adapt them and uh, look uh, if, it, if they allow uh, a child uh, to be um, 
happy and success, uh, successful. So I think we should standardize these practices together with the Ministry of Education and uh, uh, use them across the country so as to achieve a new education level, ri ri raising the competitiveness of the country. I see it like this. And you, Sergei Sergeyevich? Well, you have asked a very serious and a very important question. You know, uh, we could have a very modern, uh, super modern school with uh, the best design, which will have all the necessary equipment. But if uh, uh, there is no teacher in the school, then it is not a school. Everything, uh, or at least a, lo very, a lot, depends on teachers at school. And so my dream is uh, uh, for the teach is the, the for the teachers of our country be happier. I wish they were well paid, uh, and a lot has been done already to increase their salaries. Uh, uh, now an average. Uh, Average uh, salary of teacher used to be 13 to 15,000 uh, rubles. Now it's much higher. And also the prestige uh, of uh, the teacher's work, respect for teachers. This is my biggest uh, dream. So let us uh, uh, finish. I would like to wish uh, good luck to. to Vladimir Nikolaevich and uh, in his project. And what is your dream concerning the system of education? May I ask you this question? My uh, dream is uh, for every child in this uh, uh, country be ha uh, uh, have a, a faith in himself. Uh, and I would like uh, every child uh, to, uh, to preserve this uh, uh, faith in himself uh, uh, because it is very important. I know that there is nothing impossible in life. So if you believe in yourself uh, and if you go on, go forward, uh, then you will achieve everything. So I want every child in the, this country to have this uh, faith in himself. We all dream about the same things, only uh, looking at uh, things uh, from different angles. Thank you very much. Goodbye.